Hey guys, welcome back to our Sneaky Sensei here on YouTube. Okay then guys, as you see me yet again actually, still doing the Adam Wake Remastered actually. And I did say to you guys on my last episode, this might be the very last episode. I kind of had like a thought basically. Let me do uh, 19 episodes for you guys, okay? And for me, that kind of seems, you know, a little bit um, understandable if you guys understand where I'm coming from. So without any further introductions, um, enjoy, okay? Love you guys. Love ya. Um, honestly, I am so sorry. It's nearly taken us like um, March, April, May. Nearly, nearly came up four months now. It's nearly taken us four months to one of my get this game finished. And I'm sorry. I swore to quit drinking. You always say that. You guys always say that. I, I'm not picking on no one. I'm not picking on no one. But, but in, but reality though, you guys out there always say, "Oh, we're gonna quit drinking. We're gonna quit drinking." And, and bless you. I love you. I, I wasn't it. sure if I could face Bless the world without my sunglasses and something for my headache. No, guys, I don't drink. I don't drink. The pills worked fast. The prospect of being awake started to seem bearable again. Okay. Um. Yeah, I kind of think people in the States have their washing machine inside their bathroom. For us, Lord, it's inside the kitchen. Yeah, I know. Just it, it always b belongs in the kitchen for some reason. God knows why, actually. <laughs> oh, the sunglasses you. made the world look bearable. Now I could keep my eyes open without feeling like a vampire in the sun. Actually, um, one thing I did not pick up on. And that was in um in, in Max Payne one and two. Uh was it say in New York? I, I really can't well, no, I think it was say in New Jersey, wasn't it? Something like that, something like that. And um I, I should have picked up on the um on the graphics. Nope, that's locked. Okay, fine, fine, fine. There was a message waiting for me on the machine. Actually, I'm a bit curious. Does that actually work? I'm so sorry. One second, please. One second. If you guys can see me, I'm just pulling out my phone because I'm just wondering if that actually works. One sec. One sec. One sec, please. Um, open Google. Shut up. Oh my God. Seriously. Oh, uh, okay. So one sec. That was awesome. Okay, so technically on our phones, okay, you guys can get barcode readers, okay? I just pulled mine out. I just scanned it, and it just took me to YouTube. It did. Vision zero uh, 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 o, o 02. How awesome is that? I tell you what I'll do for you guys. In the editing, when I come to the editing of this episode, okay, I will attach that video to this audio, okay? And I'll let you guys be the judge of that. But that's so freaking cool. I love that. That is so awesome. Was there anything? Um, there's only um, 86,000 people have seen it in one year. Oh, dude, that is awesome. I love that. 
That is so cool. Damn you, Transmedia. I love Transmedia. Seriously, Transmedia is something I am a really, really big fan of. I love, love Transmedia. Transmedia is perhaps one of my most favorite things of all because Tomb Raider Uncharted is sort of like my enjoyment that is so much because I love to do mind puzzle video games, solving riddles, this and this and transmedia is actually is part of one of them and that's what i've been learning in class actually just recently um and play the tape please you have one new message ow are you still asleep wakey wakey you should have your show on your tivo if alice wasn't too mad to record it that she called me earlier and really chewed me out yeah yeah we went a little overboard last night but party are a part of this business. Al, look, I'm saying this is your friend. She's not doing your career any favors by trying to run your life like that, okay? I'll talk to you later, Al. Watch the show. Yeah, they both didn't get on quite well. That was one of the main things. Um, is there anything else I can actually look at or not, so to speak? Why has Alison left her cell phone? Talking about my latest book. The show was supposed to be waiting for me on our TiVo. Why has Allison left her phone here? That's my question. Hmm. Okay, fine. Can I get some coffee first, please? Nope. Oh, no, it's not allowing me. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Yeah, no, mm -mm, not allowing me. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Harry Gallet Show. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. We have a great show tonight. I've been talking with the best selling author, Alan Wake, about his new book, The Sudden Stop. Yeah, good read. Go buy it. No, no, it is a good read. Look, uh, I'm going to be honest here. Is that wise? No, but I'm going to do it anyway. I got people who give me the lowdown on books. I'm a busy guy. But this one, I actually read from cover to cover. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan. Wow, thanks. Now, this might be a spoiler for those who haven't read the book yet. Based on the sales figures, the two people out there who haven't read the book yet. <laughs> But this last book is all about the death of the main character, the hard-boiled New York detective, Alex Casey. Now, there's been a lot of outrage about this. Why the hell did you kill Casey? What the hell were you thinking, man? Good riddance. <laughs> no, seriously, though. Seven years and six books is a long time. He was a gloomy guy to spend all your working hours with, and it was a good run. But it's time to explore new things. My next book will be a departure from the old for me. You selfish bastard, always thinking of yourself. Well, you've certainly given us a lot of entertainment over the years. And now that you mention it, Casey was a gloomy guy. Never had much luck with his love life with the ladies. Was that autobiographical in any way? Yeah, no kidding. Casey's lady friends tended to die on him. With Casey, it was all about his pain. No, nothing autobiographical about that. I'm a happily married man. My wife is my muse. Well, congratulations. That's great to hear. So, how's the publicity tour been treating you? Good. Great. But I gotta say, I'm glad to be back home in New York. Well, you've certainly been on the news a lot lately. Lots of parties and, um... You got into a fight with some paparazzi. Oh, man. Well, that guy was really in my face. I lost my temper. I know that wasn't cool. Well, you are famous for that temper. Well, I did also write several books. <laughs> well, your latest novel is called The Sudden Stop, and it's in bookstores now. Go get it. That means the two of you out there who haven't bought it yet. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you tonight. I want to thank all our guests for the evening. Alan Wake, Sam Lake, once more do the face for The director second. at yeah. Remedy Entertainment. And our musical guests, Poets of the Fall. Thank you, and good night. Both the full are fine. actually oh so. I told myself I could live with that. Hey, honey. Did you watch the show? 
I didn't say anything stupid, if that's what you want to know. Okay, Grumpy. You want an aspirin or something? Are you going to start with me about drinking now? You know what? I should have followed her advice, but suddenly I was angry. That was new. What? Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. Now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey. It's almost over, right? We can get back to normal. Then you can start writing again. I'm sorry, honey. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah. You're right, honey. I'm sorry. Once this is over, let's go away together. A vacation. Just you and me. Some peace and quiet. Okay, that was something new, I'm gonna say at least. Uh, uh, Boy Falls, the present day? Somehow, the clicker was the key to the cabin. I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms, to make it all right. Why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. Okay, ready when you are. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Barry, take her gun. Miss Weaver, close the door when I leave. Good luck, Al. See you later. When I got out, it was warm and sunny. I'd flicked the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage of the sunlight to get to the lake. On Zane's page, I'd stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake. About to use the clicker. That's where I was headed. Alone, in daylight, surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape. It was hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream, a delusion. I had enough imagination to make up something like this, having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head, gone mad from grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed. There would be no way of knowing. I told myself it didn't really matter. My course was set. And then let's get to it then, shall we? But seriously, I mean, like, the the landscape is like really beautiful, and that's one of the things I love the most. I know it's, it's going to be a bit of a drive, actually. It is. Damn it! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sensei, what are you doing? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Switch cars. Switch cars. I'm just looking for any more manuscripts or anything else. Oh, batteries. Thank you. I'll take them. Okay. Actually, there's something that's bugging me. If this... Then wouldn't... um uh, uh, Deer Fest... Then where would everybody be then, actually? That doesn't make any sense. Do you guys understand where I'm coming from? If not, sorry, my bad. Love ya. No, I feel I'm going to go by foot. Sorry, guys, I'm so sorry. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I'm so sorry. 
touch me. There was a link between us, always would be. I could feel its presence again, getting closer. I will kill your wife. Yeah, 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 one sec, one sec, one sec. Thank you. It knows. The Dark Presence was no longer trying to capture the writer so he could create the ending it wanted. The writer knew too much. He was too strong. And he carried a weapon left behind by Thomas Zane, something that could hurt it. Now, the darkness was doing everything in its power to simply stop the writer from ever reaching Cauldron Lake and the dark place it came from. Yeah, it's it's really much funny how about the entire game, um, they always try to like try to grab him, and now that he knows everything, now they don't want him to make up your mind. <laughs> Darkness, seriously, please make up your mind. They came out of nowhere, I'm gonna say at least. Actually, let's just make a quick pit stop. There's some few things I wanna do. Based on the signature in the motel register, Agent Nightingale had stayed here, in room number two. Okay, uh, one second, room number two. Fine. Oof. This had obviously been the room where Agent Nightingale had stayed when he hadn't been busy harassing me. You talk about the booze, I'm gonna say at least. Yeah, wine. Beers. Oh, wow. Flashbang grenades. Okay. Nope, that's completely locked. Look Are you? Yeah, don't worry. Come out to play. Oh, there was a supply box actually. I'm sorry. I literally did not see that supply box. Did not see that. My bad. Thank you. Wonderful. Excellent. What? Well, anything else for me to explore? What the hell is that? Tell me that you guys heard that. What the hell is that? Nope. Okay, that was something quite weird, wasn't it? It was like a massive crash, it was. Oh, great. Oh, sorry, 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 I did not see, see that. Thank you. Oh, wicked, awesome. Thank you. Yay, got an achievement. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, cool, fab, excellent. Alright, come on. Come on, let's just scare me, Yvonne, shall we? As always. 
Okay, we have to go by foot. I'm gonna go by foot, actually. Yeah, I do have flash bang grenades. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, um, yeah, flash bang grenades. Be extra careful. Crap. Um, crying out loud. Stop it. Big time from like reaching. Damn it. Thank you. Nice to see you too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Tell me about it. Excellent. We've made it home safely, we did. Okay, cool, fab. They come. Oh, they were just being annoying. Hang on one sec. Dum dums. Oh no, not 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 this one again. I think this is a reference towards one of not, um, Remedy and Tayman's other game, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. What was that all about? Now you may hit him with a car. Thank you. They're just annoying me, these 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 guys are. You missed. Okay, best for me to change cars actually, because like I think that one's completely gone. Any copy? Manuscripts? Dang, Flavit. Anything up here, by any chance? I'm just gonna drop a flare just to be on the safe side. Okay, not being then, I suppose. Okay, my bad. Again. Can I 
I squeeze food? Maybe. Damn it, sorry guys. Yeah, yeah, I could. I could easily squeeze food. Okay, no, that's fine then. Alright, one more time. No, 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 park it there. Park it there, park it there, park it there. Thank you. Yep, that is wonderful. Excellent. Thank you. I have a bare chance of getting back to the cabin. Now. It looks like footprints to me, actually. Thank you. You do know, yeah, he's, he's armed with flares, you nitwits. Why are these not all for me? It's half the time. I don't know if you get them. Yeah, honestly, at this point, though, I don't hardly get, I don't hardly get the, the darkness at this point, because, um... A bit of a nitwit, so I'm gonna say at least, actually. Alright, come on then. One point for your wee mouth is. Thanks, idiot. Smoke through my trap. Shit. Sorry, my apologies. I get scared. Okay, so forgive me if I swear. I did not see them there. Dang it! Hey! Hey, get back! Get back, I say! Sorry. Yeah, you lot there should forgive me, actually, because, like, honestly, when it comes to, like, like, horror video games, I don't do good. I simply do not do good. I do not do good, okay? I'm being honest with you guys. Never do good. I never do good. In these type of circumstances, I mean. Yeah, I'm so sorry, guys. Did not mean to swear, but I'm being honest with you guys. Sometimes in these circumstances, I don't do good, okay? I just get severely freaked out, I do. And that is what your study is all about. Oh, damn it, okay. Flares left, but no, you did not, Sensei. They're right there, dude. Oh, crap. Okay, fine, I did not see them. I literally did not see them. And actually, seeing that now, I'm running out of ammo. Now I'm back to 42, which is fine, which is fine, actually, in my own opinion. Oh, God, dang f flabbit. Okay, let me just let me just read this page, and then I'm going to say my ending outros. The bottom of Cauldron Lake was a graveyard of things the lake had claimed in one way or another over the decades. The dark presence brought them up in its wake, scattering the rotten waterlogged hull of an old boat here, the remains of a long ago crashed airplane there, trees shattered under the impacts, the earth groaned, it didn't even notice. Seriously? Ooh. Okay, even that's, that's a little bit, little bit um, scary, I'm going to say at least. Sorry guys, I'm just on TikTok. <laughs> I'm just on TikTok. Sorry guys, just give me one second, please. And that's all done. Madam, stop scaring me, please, will ya? Love ya. Okay then, guys, and I'm really am sorry though, but that brings us to the end to this episode, okay? Um, Honestly, though, 
Uh, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Um, so on on our iPhones actually, we have barcode readers, and what I did actually, I scanned that barcode into my phone, and it took me to YouTube, and where I saw a video of Alan, where you guys heard the audio. If I could find the same video, I will put it into this video for you guys, so you guys can see one of I was watching. Okay, now transmedia is something quite awesome okay because i think yeah i will be using transmedia a lot now coming up now okay because when we do competitions here on sneaky sensei though guys i really want to do sort of like an easter egg hunt or treasure hunt here here on social media so basically what i'll probably do um there's gonna be like some few things i'll be posting on instagram and if you guys can solve the puzzles you guys could even win a bigger prize, okay? But we'll see how things go at the moment. I say again, though, I'm still yet learning about it because I have learned it last year and this year, but this year's made it more, even more sense for me. It has so much. So what I'm going to do for you guys, I'm going to go away and I am working on a competition just for you guys and I'll let you guys know very soon, okay? Also, I'm trying to come, I'm trying to combine TikTok as well into um, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and Discord as well, okay? Um, another thing, I do apologize for the swearing, I don't do good in, in terrible circumstances. So for example, if I'm playing a game and I'm completely freaked out and I don't Cause I don't know what nobody changed me now Cause I like, cause I like to be myself if you're not agree, you can walk away, you can walk away, you can walk away. Something, something in my mind leaves me the leaves me the night. Nobody perfect. Something, something in my mind leaves me the leaves me the night. Nobody perfect. Okay. 